remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the general crypto market, paying attention to our portfolio, portfolio updates. Right now, our portfolio stands at around $123,000. Our all-time profit is 2%. We have $18,000 worth of profit. Our best performer has been Jim. Jim gave us a $19,000 profit. Our worst performer has been Bob. Bob gave us a $11,000 loss. We're taking a look at the general portfolio, We're taking a look at additions that we made to the portfolio. All season is coming very, very soon. Are you ready, guys? We'll take a look at the total crypto market, the altcoin market, and we'll also take a look at Bitcoin dominance. How will that affect our portfolio over the next coming weeks? Which other altcoins are we going to add? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. When it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. Do the necessary research and analysis before making any investment decision. Let's get down to business. The crypto market has been dumping to Goblin Town. 2023 has been an up only year, but it doesn't feel that way. After the initial rally for the altcoin ended in February of 2023, we have been seeing a lot of altcoins dumped to Goblin Town. But luckily for us, our portfolio here is still up over $18,000. This portfolio is there over a year ago. With more than hundred thousand dollars you can check out the channel for the portfolio updates the previous update right now the portfolio is down in goblin town just like the altcoin market before we take a look at what our altcoins have been doing let's just have a general perspective of what the altcoin market has been doing for majority of 2023 now this is the total crypto market excluding both bitcoin and ethereum we saw a wonderful bull run in 2021. We saw a bull run where the total crypto market, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, went from $28 billion to as high as $1 trillion. More than a 3,800% increase in over 609 days. That's a big, big pump to the upside, if you ask me. But after all these huge pumps, there's always all these huge dumps to Goblin Town, and we have been experiencing a bear market since the 1st of November 2021. We are just some days shy of clocking two years deep down in Goblin Town. The bear market has been in two phases. We had the first phase where there was a sharp decline in 224 days. We saw the total altcoin market go down by around 73%. But since then, since June of 2022, when a lot of market participants thought the bottom was in, luckily for us, the total altcoin market has been going sideways. Right now, we have been going sideways. For double the time it took us to crash, we've been going sideways for 800, for 483 days. Back to our model portfolio, what's in our portfolio right now? We still have our Bitcoin, we still have one Bitcoin, we had a lot of Bitcoin purchases, but we still have one Bitcoin in the portfolio. Our Bitcoin purchase has given us a profit of over $18,000. We still have one Bitcoin in the portfolio, we have some XRP in the portfolio, we have over 20,000 XRPs in the portfolio, we're only up $280 on that purchase. XRP is our, sac our second largest holding. XRP is down 1.49% over the last one week. Ethereum is our third largest holding. We have six Ethereum in the portfolio. We bought our Ethereum at an average price of $1,200. Our have made a $10,000 profit from our Ethereum purchase. Our Bitcoin purchase was around $17,000, so we got a good entry there. We got some Solana at $19. Solana trades at $22. We've made only a 1,200% profit on Solana guys. A lot of these altcoins we're holding till we get that wonderful all season in 2023. We're not trying to intertrade inter we're not trying to trade them every day. We're just trying to hold them till we get that big big pump to the upside and we're going to sell them for some huge huge profit. Before we continue looking at the portfolio, let's take a look at the altcoin season index. Let's have a perspective of when that all season we have been talking about is going to happen. According to the altcoin season index, we're not yet there but we're working our way towards alt season we've seen us get even to as high as 60 on the altcoin season index which is a good sign we got there on the 26th of september i won't be shocked by the 26th of october if we're already in alt season for, all, for those of you that are new if you don't know what all season is if 75 percent of the top 50 coins perform better than bitcoin over the last 90 days it's an alt season that's excluding stable coins in the top 50 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization on the monthly time frame also we're not yet in all season on a yearly time frame we're not just quite yet there but i believe we're going to see all season in 2023 and that all season is going to be very very crazy back to our model portfolio we still have on building room finance 
Virgin Finance, we are down. In our Virgin Finance purchase, Virgin Finance is trading for zero point zero three eight dollars. And right now, we have seen it lose over twenty three percent over the last seven days, and our purchase is down by over three thousand five hundred dollars. Pepe, meme coin season, we have seen Pepe. I don't have this time in the sun. Pepe and me was having a crazy pump to the upside. I believe we are still going to see meme coins pumping. And that's why we have a lot of meme coins in the portfolio. We have Pepe, we have Bob, we have Dede, and we have Landwolf. Are we making videos for all these meme coins on the channel? You can check out them. I believe we're going to see meme coin season and meme coins are going to go crazy. But our Pepe purchase down $5,300. We have over $4,000 worth of Pepe in the portfolio. We have Bob, $4,000 worth of Bob. It's down around eleven thousand dollars, guys. These meme coins, they are very, very volatile. They can easily have huge dumps to Goblin Town. The only advantage they have is that they can easily have crazy, crazy pumps in short period of time. So Pepe, Bob, Diddy can easily see them giving us ten x, twenty x, even thirty x in seven days. But the downside to it is that they are very volatile and can easily see them having huge dumps to Goblin Town. And you can see just Pepe and Bob already. We have a combined sixteen thousand dollar deficit right there. Dede, we have over $3,900 worth of Dede, and we are down only $200. Luxray, another holdings in the portfolio, $3,500 uh, worth of Luxray, Bitcoin Cash, Pearl Token, Filecoin, and Theta USD. All of them are in the same range. We have around $3,000 worth of them. Then the other coins in the portfolio, the other altcoins in the portfolio, most of them are less than $3,000, but most of them are in the same position where we left them just over two months ago. And guys, I believe we'll see the altcoin market pumping to higher prices, but let's take a look at general altcoin market. We have been going sideways. Any coin that you see outperform general altcoin market is an outlier. So we expect to see the altcoin market in general push up to higher prices. Now, how high can we go? Are we going to get to new all-time highs? Personally, I don't think we'll get to new all-time highs, but I feel we're still going to rally above that $500 billion level. The altcoin market has been having difficulties clearing $450 billion. The last time we saw the altcoin market above $450 billion was way back in August of 2022. I will not be shocked to see the altcoin market rally towards a billion dollars. Best case scenario, we can even get to a trillion dollars, but I will not be expecting us to go that high. But if we see us rally to as high as $700 billion, or maybe we even get to as high as $815 billion, guys. That will be a very, very good place to take some profits off the table. If we see the market getting extremely bullish, then if we see everybody shouting, we're going to the moon, and the whole market has gone up by 149%, guys, we'll be happy to take that home. That will mean from the start of the year, where we started 2023, if we can get to that $800 billion level, we would have seen the altcoin market rally up by around 184%. That would be very nice to see, and that will shoot our portfolio up to the moon. Where do you think the portfolio will end up? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Which other altcoin do you think we should add to the portfolio? Which altcoin do you see us you see giving us 10x, 20x, maybe 100x over the next three months, over the next six months? We have some meme coins in the portfolio. We have many altcoins in the portfolio. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and a host of other altcoins. We're not going to buy all the altcoins in the market. We're buying the ones we see that have good potentials of pumping to the upside. Total crypto market this is at $1 trillion. We expect it to rally towards maybe $1.5 trillion. Best case scenario, we might even touch $2 trillion before the end of the year. Very, very important. This is going to affect our portfolio. Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is the altcoin market's number one friend. If we see Bitcoin dominance going up, it means the altcoin market dominance is going down. And Bitcoin dominance directly affects our portfolio because our portfolio comprises of more than 90% of all coins think about that guys we're holding no sorry our portfolio contains more than 75 percent of all coins we're holding 22 percent of our portfolio in bitcoin the remaining of it is in the altcoin market bitcoin xrp and ethereum account for around 37 percent of the portfolio the rest of the portfolio sits in the rest of the altcoin market so bitcoin dominance is very, very important to us bitcoin dominance has gotten to as high as 52 percent in 2023 I'm not expecting Bitcoin dominance to break to higher prices. Best case scenario, it gets back to 52%. But guys, if Bitcoin dominance continue going to higher prices, that might spell a little trouble for the altcoin market. We have seen Bitcoin dominance continue pumping aggressively to the upside since the turn of the year. Bitcoin dominance started the year around 40%. Right now, Bitcoin dominance sits at 51%, even getting to as high as 52% in July of 2023. 
If we see Bitcoin dominance falling, that will be good for the altcoin market. If we see Bitcoin dominance falling, we might finally get our alt season in 2023. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Which altcoins are you accumulating in your own portfolio? How high do you see any of these altcoin going? And which altcoin do you think will be our best performing altcoins? Guys, it's going to be a big price for the subscriber that can guess the altcoin that will give us the best profit in this portfolio. Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video and anytime I go live. Remember guys, invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.